Now, before we get to the Super Bowl, we've got the Grammys. Mm -hmm. The 60th annual Grammy Awards are this Sunday night right here on CBS 3. Our Jim Donovan spoke to Entertainment Tonight's Nancy O'Dell about what to expect during and even before the awards. Well, you cover a lot of award shows. What is it about the Grammys that you're most looking forward to? I always look forward to the collaborations because with the Grammys, you never know what to expect. It can be different kind of genres com uh, combined mm -hmm. to do a great collaboration. Um, this one, I think one of the year ones that is most surprising to me this year is Miley Cyrus and Elton John. I just don't picture them doing something together, but I think it's going to be amazing. Well, and of course, there's pink. Uh, yeah. You know, there's pink gym where you don't know if she's going to be scaling the side of a building <laughs> or if she's going to be, you know, falling out of the ceiling, you know, on ropes, doing some kind of acrobats. So she's one that is always uh, somebody to watch. Now, something I'm looking forward to, you're going to have the uh, Grammy Red Carpet Live show with Kevin Frazier, Kelty Knight, and Eve. Now, from the fashions to the interviews with uh, people's favorite artists, what are we going to see on this Entertainment Tonight pre-show special? You know, that is going to air on CBS uh, at 6.30, right before the live uh, Grammy broadcast itself. So it's going to be fun. And the greatest thing about the red carpet is unpredictable. You know, it's just completely raw. So there's no edited pieces. So you get to see the artists as they are, arriving as they are. You get to see them interact with each other. You're going to see them wearing um, white roses, either on their lapel or on their dresses. That is for the Me Too movement. Uh -huh. And um, I'm sure a lot of the female artists will have... A lot of things to say. The musicians, you know, are not ones to hold back what they want to say. They're used to saying everything they want to say in their lyrics and in their music. So they're going to say what they want to say when it comes to just talking about it. Any hints about possible surprise performances or anything special that we should be looking out for on Sunday? Well, the Jay Z one will be a surprise because it has not been confirmed if he is performing mm -hmm, yeah. or not. I think there are going to be a couple of emotional performances, and that is um, the tribute to the victims. Um, who were lost at live music events throughout the year. There's also going to be the one by Alessia Cara, Gleed, Logic, um, and there is going to be the group of the suicide uh, attempt loss survivors. So those are, you know, those are some of the performances I think that everybody's going to be talking about after the Grammys. I always <laughs> know you have the pulse on the entertainment business. We do appreciate Nancy O'Dell. Um, have a great time this Sunday. Thanks, Jim. It's good to talk to you. Good to talk to you as well. And earlier today, our Jim Donovan sat down with area radio hosts to get their picks for some of the top Grammy categories. See who Bex, Andy, and Marilyn think will walk home with awards and which live performances they're most excited to see. That's on our website, cbsphilly.com. James Corden hosts the 60th annual Grammy Awards Sunday night at 730, only here on CBS3.